Blue Bat has revealed himself to be a man. So, my guess here is Blue Batman? And I want you, Blue Swain. And it's right, everyone. Welcome back to a new video. This is a Super Mario Odyssey Part 3. I know, you've been waiting a long time. I, by the way, saw that Blue Bat, one of my sticky viewers, is having a time off for watching me, because he is now focusing on some stories on his own channel. Well, you do you. I mean, you all, you have a nice reputation to hold on to. I'll do me too. I know you will see this eventually, but the mad heroes, boy, they are good. <laughs> With that being said, let's start up the game. I believe last time we ended it abruptly by uh, the road fork that we had. Okay, it's so good. I thought for a second my screen froze, but it's just a really long loading screen. Okay. Let's click resume. Let's see. Yes, it still says to the next kingdom. So it did say. We, we were able to choose between Lake Kingdom and Wooded Kingdom, I guess. I actually don't know anymore, but. Basically, it was a guess. I have not seen any comments on where I needed to go, so I'm making my own uh, hit. And I'm going in Lake Kingdom. Because this is a pretty fast kingdom to go to. Literally, me or my best. I'm doing this kingdom flawlessly. <laughs> of course, not by any speedrun threads by any means. I am not speeding all the way through. Okay, I know I don't. Yes. That's why I'm having this dark tone. He kidnapped Tyara! And now with his binding band, he's got a wedding ring. Is he going to steal a whole wedding? Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Okay. Fuck those travel tips. Well, there it is. Next, let's read up on the Lake Kingdom. It says they're known for their fishing and... Oh! There's a famous wedding gown there called the Lock Lady Dress. The Lock Lady Dress, you say. Lake Kingdom, Lake Lamoud. And let's go. Don't have long to live now. <laughs> so even Cappy is complimenting my speed. Oh, wait. 
you're totally able to do that. It's totally not a speed trap. It's just totally not a speed trap. Hello, Brodols! Hello! Um, like. We already got the lock and red! Oh, wait. A tall ranger guy is speaking. Let's do my ranger voice. <laughs> and it even matches the bot stuff too, though. So now we're doing a bit. There he is. There are also some crazy speed traps for this ball, so you can easily take him down within literally 10 seconds. But those speed traps that he has are a little bit out of my league. I am not as good to do those. So I'm still doing the normal way to get him. And I'm not really the best speed there he is. We got him. I believe this is Rango, by the way. In Sand King we had Harriet, and now we have Rango. Let's go! Now we need some more moves. I know there's a spare. Oh, okay, then. hold on. Hintar, real kitty. Cascade Kido Hintar. Don't need the picture, I know where it is. I don't know if this one is so quick anymore. I can't remember what this is. Oh yeah, God. I always suck at this pattern. Nope. God. Get it, Roy. I'm autistic, I should know this. There it is. Easy. What else can I say? Easy. Successful repair job. And it looks like the screen froze. Hold on for a sec while I'll fix this. In the meanwhile, you can look at my beautiful face. Hold on. Delete my switch. Rip out the cable. Replug it. And re enable my switch. There we go. Let's size it up a bit. Right there. Make it big. And turn off my other screen again. There we are. Back in the thick of it. Alrighty. Well, 
let's go for the rest of these doors. The cheap crossing. I don't need those cheap cheaps. Best as I am. Hello there, Dory. I almost forgot you had one. Dory back for Rider. Okay. This is always a risky section. Since you never know if you are still breathing or not at the ending. But you know, in the actual official way to do this is by capturing a cheap cheap but basically who needs those cheap cheaps let me try my amiibo let's see if i can reheal here Hold on. amiibo yes this is the amiibo button that was just a coin that's right peach what, do, what does peach do for me a heart. I oh, got them and I can do them both. Okay, but now I have at least an extra heart and now I can also do this. Because I know there is one behind here. Come on, there. I know. There should be one here. One extra little feather. Did they remove it or is it just not available yet? Well, I guess they removed it. Oh wait, no. There's that moon that I was looking for. There was basically um, one of those Hop rock moons that only spawns when you have bro broken free uh, the moon. That might already be a big spoil, but basically we are going to the moon. Hello, how is your secret room doing? I have found it. Very clever. You can have these as a reward. Clear the roof. Let's not sound out of context at all. And back to the Odyssey. Let's ship sail away and. You know, we are all 30 minutes, so why not as well do the Wooded Kingdom as well? 40 minutes right now. You know, I guess we might do this. Wooded Kingdom has, if I believe it right, two major bosses. And... I might do it now. What's the first major boss? And then in part 4, I will go towards the second major boss of the Wooded Kingdom. Uh, let's skip this. The only matter of what is in the airship itself. Who ever heard of a wedding with a stolen dress? Let's get after that tagless fiend. Seeing as uh, we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Okay, Cappy, no. 
Be careful, tips don't help anyone. Oh, there it is. Next, let's read up on the Wooded Kingdom. According to this guide, there's a giant greenhouse there filled with flowers. It's famous for its beautiful soya bouquet. Well then. The man wants some flowers. Let's get him some flowers. It's not a crime to steal flowers, is it? Flowers? The classy man. Road to the sky garden. I don't know either why my voice sometimes becomes a smash uh, announcer. I mean, it's always you, when I am just trying to read something, like a title or something for you. My voice goes way too excited towards the Super Smash Brothers announcer because I'm not an announcer too. Let's buy a moon. Yes. That is right. We just bought a moon. This is what you call being lazy, and I really need those boxer shorts. Okay. Thing. Greetings, traveler, and to your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? What does the monster want from this kingdom? Well, he wants flowers. You are correct. Perhaps there wasn't much over it. Anywho, proceed. Well, that was the worst riddle I've ever heard. And he's got no more questions for me. Just please 
forget about that ever happening. Because my soul is hurt. And this is what I wanted to do last time. Get the stone. Oh. I want to eat the stone. Oh, now it's done. Now it's done. Gun for me. Okay. So, lesson learned, I guess. I just suck. Ball loader. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you also climb faster than you were. Uh, okay. Basically, this entire game just involves a little I'm not grabbing at story mode yet. I still need to get my cool looking fast Moon, not dude. I know this is one of those nuts to break open with one of those uh, stretchy dudes, but this is also a way. The nut at the dead end. The Jamava taught me in a way. And let's go. Great. Flow of the Sky God! Oh, wait a sec. I can't skip. You like to see the cinematics, don't you? Oh god, why do you sound like a Britney Spears movie? Hey. Hello? Hello? No one explaining that to me? Okay. Where is the FBI of science? Because I just walked in the head. Again! I'm surprised I haven't gone towards the deep forest yet. I mean, there are also spots in the wooded kingdom, and you fall off the map, you will somehow get into the deep forest, where there will be a T-Rex chasing you. Yes, I know. Oh. God! God, God, God! Oh, 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 get me. Everything is going fine and all the right, if you ask me. I don't even need the P switch button to return me. I don't even need you, because I can just get on here and do me that basic. If you know like you would not pay attention to what you and my skills, it would be very appreciated. And now I can just try to elevate the And that's another one done. Okay. I have that. I'm not even choosing it. I know I need one of those uproots for you, so I'm not even trying.
Hello! Uh, and it is Spewer who is talking. Spewer is the sick one. Jeremy, hey chaps! We snagged a soy bouquet already! I would like to just climb over so we can grab the rest of the flowers as well. And maybe can just make you scram. You know what? Scram! Uh oh. Oh my god. Why do you speak on scraps? Fill me every single You have no. You all saw what happened. I should have hit him. He was in flipping hit zone. Look, that's what's supposed to happen. No head, no stomach. I thought you'd take him down. You can also throw his top way faster if you jump on his head. But I ain't a pussy bitch that does that. I'm, I am. Uh, And there is our first major boss of the Wooded Kingdom. Which will mean that this is the ending for part number three. I hope this recorded well because I need to uh, re record it all, anyways. And then, I would like to say to all of you, see you next time, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and Blue Pet, make a nice series of the Mad Heroes. I know that Matilda can stop him. More likely Maggie Fan is there, and Mike. I mean... Mike is also part of the relic. I believe that he is. What else is Mike there? <laughs> well then. I will see you all later.